everybody. In this video, we're going to compare set driven keys with the connection editor and utility nodes. We've taken a look at both of these different techniques in previous videos. Uh, we can do some of the same things with both of them, and you might find that you have one that you have a preference for uh, using one over the other. So let's compare the two. The first example, I'm going to create a uh, set driven key. Um, both examples, we're going to be using this clock face here. Uh, we're going to have the minute hand drive the hour hand on this clock. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, select that hour hand and I will go to my animation menu set here to key, set driven key, set, and open up its tool settings. The hour hand is going to be the driven and we'll select the minute hand and load it as the driver. We're going to be working with the rotate Z on both of these objects so we'll go ahead and select rotate Z on the driven and rotate Z on the sorry rotate Z on the driver and rotate Z on the driven as well. And we'll go ahead and key that. Now I'm going to take my um, minute hand and I'm going to rotate it 360 degrees. In this case actually negative 360. And we're going to rotate the hour hand 30 degrees or negative 30 degrees and key it. We can test it out by selecting the uh, minute hand and rotating it and as you can see the minute hand is driving the hour hand. However, if I go beyond that 360 degrees the hour hand stops spinning. Now you'll remember from the previous video that we can fix that simply by selecting the object that is being driven and going to the graph editor and going to selecting its curve, the rotate Z curve. This is the curve that, uh, that the minute hand is actually affecting. So we'll select that curve, go to Curves, Pre-Infinity, Cycle with Offset, and Curves, Post-Infinity, Cycle with Offset. This will continue that trajectory uh, so that it just spins on and on and on as we spin that minute hand. Let's test it out. One thing you'll notice as I spin it is that we have this slow in, slow out built into that hour hand. Notice how as I try to spin this continuously at a constant speed, the hour hand actually slows down each time it gets to uh, the next number. We want it to be smoother. So what we'll do is go to, uh, go to our graph editor once again select that hour hand and we'll get rid of that slow in slow out on it by making it linear and now when we spin the minute hand it will happen very smoothly Now, one other thing that I demonstrated in the previous video was uh, how you can select the driven and then in the channel box find its channel that's being controlled by that other thing, by the driver. And to make it a little more difficult for people to break this rig, we can uh, come in here, select this rotate Z channel, right click on it, and lock selected. 
as you can see, this channel has been grayed out. It's still being controlled by the minute hand, but we cannot come in here and accidentally break it now by, set, by accidentally setting a key on it, let's say. Now, if we were to animate this, animate the minute hand, uh, I'll just come in here and set a key, set a key, let's say on frame zero. And I'll go to frame 120, and we'll go ahead and rotate this maybe 720 degrees or negative 720. And I'll key that as well. <clears throat> and we play our animation. I've only animated the minute hand, but as you can see, both uh, the minute and the hour hand are animated. Now, they, uh, the animation keys that I put on this do have a slow in, slow out. So once again, if I want to get rid of that, I'll simply come in here and make those keys linear. And now it'll move at a very constant speed, just as you would want a clock to do. Uh, something else to keep in mind with this particular example is we could add a second hand as well. And because my animation setting is set to 24 frames a second, uh, we could actually animate this clock to uh, animate at the proper speed of a clock. We'd simply take that second hand uh, 24 times 60 frames to come all the way around once. Now we'll take a look at the same example of a clock, but this time we're going to use the connection editor and a utility node. So uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll have the minute hand be the driver again for this particular example. I'm going to go to Windows, General Editors, Connection Editor. My minute hand is loaded in the right. We cannot connect it directly to the hour hand. We're going to need to connect it to a utility node. So I'll go to my hypershade, find my utility nodes, and we are looking for utility down here. We're going to look for the multiply divide node here. right here, create one, load it into the right. And we're working again with the rotate Z. So we'll go ahead and connect the rotate Z of our minute hand to, in this case, the input Z of our utility node. What I will now do is select my utility node load it to the left so it becomes the uh, the object that's driving the hour hand and we'll select the hour hand and load it to the right we put the connection to the input 1z so i'm going to connect the output z of my minute hand to the rotate z of the hour hand And we'll go ahead and close that connection editor. We've made the connection, but we're not done yet. If I grab that um, minute hand right now, you'll see that both the minute and the hour hand move at exactly the same rate. But if we select that uh, multiply divide node, and let's say instead of multiplying it, we set the operation to divide, and we'll divide it by 30. Now, if we rotate that minute hand, the hour hand actually is not working, is it? It is not rotating at the proper rate. I have made a mistake here. 
So let's take a look at what I've done wrong here. I'm going to set that back to zero. And uh, this is a great opportunity to show you the um, hypergraph. So I'm going to go to Windows, General Editors, Hypergraph Connections. And what I'd like you to see is that this is a convenient way of checking out your connections. So in this case, what are we looking at? Well, we have our minute hand. This indicates that it is feeding into that multiplied divide node. And then that multiplied divide node is feeding into the hour hand. So in other words, uh, the rotate Z of the minute hand is feeding into our multiply divide node. Uh, it is getting multiplied, sorry, divided by 30, and then it is feeding into the hour hand. And this is where my problem is. It's with my math here in the multiply divide node. So we've got, uh, we've got 12 numbers here on our clock, obviously. So that means that for every time that the minute hand goes 360 degrees around, this needs to go 30 degrees, uh, but we're not working with degrees here. We're working with 12 different uh, increments here on our clock, not degrees. It'll turn 30 degrees, but that doesn't, um, provide the math that we need here. So what I'm going to do is change that number 30 to 12. So now what's going to happen is that the minute hand, its rotate Z, is going to feed into our multiply divide node. Uh, let's just take a look at a, an example of this. I'm going to rotate this 360 degrees, rotate it exactly. 300, negative 360 degrees. If we were to select our hour hand, you'll notice that it in fact did rotate 30 degrees, but to get that math, it needed to take the 360 degrees uh, rotation of my minute hand and divide that by 12 to get our 30 degrees. So this is fixed now. And now this will work perfectly. So there you go. That's tackling the same problem that we looked at uh, earlier in the video. But instead of using set driven keys, this time we used the connection editor and a utility node. As you can see, with both those different techniques, uh, with the set driven keys, as well as with the connection editor and a utility node, you can get the same effect. Uh, you can get the same result. So which one you choose is really up to you and is dependent on your preferences. Uh, I personally prefer the connection editor with the utility node because uh, it's a little bit harder to break. Uh, I think it's a little bit more of a solid solution, but in the end, they both do the same thing. So in the end, they're both uh, really great techniques to uh, use to get this kind of uh, result. So hope that you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.